What's up, my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And my friends, it has probably been well over a year since I've put together an Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. However, as most of you know, the game not only implemented the biggest patch they have to date, but they also brought us a new game mode, which is the only reason why I was even intrigued by what's happening today. Therefore, I wanted to take a few minutes, answer some of your questions, and give you some of my thoughts so far. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And remember, we are currently having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year. So there happen to be a lot of details I want to go over in this video, however I'd like to begin with starting off by answering a few questions, and one of which is, how far do you need to have gotten in the game in regards to your story progression to have access to this new game mode? Now from what I can understand, all you need to do is have access to Everald's workshop, which I believe you attained from your first trip to Asgard. So once you get back to Ravensthorpe, you will see that you can speak with Everald, he sets up his workshop, and then once you talk to him, you'll see in the actual workshop you have the option of going into the new content. And once again, to give you an idea how long it's been since I've played this game, this is my first time talking to Everald this morning. I had no idea he even existed, like I stepped away from this thing a while ago. I'll go into why later in the video, but once again, to be clear, for those of you that have not done any of the recent DLCs such as myself, look, some of you may be caught up completely, but for those of you that have stepped away for a while, you should still have access to the Forgotten Saga. Now, another great thing about this game mode, and again, this is for people who, like myself, have stepped away from the game for a while. You know, if you're concerned about the gear that you have, is it strong enough? What about your power level? None of that matters because when you load into this game, you're going to have to begin your journey with whatever random gear the game decides to give you. And in the patch notes, they describe the gear in the following way. Gear has been completely reimagined for Forgotten Saga. Upon entering Niflheim, Odin will have none of the gear they brought with them and will instead be forced to face the threats of Hell's Domain with an entirely randomized loadout. You can see here when you first load into the game, you're going to get a message saying each time you begin a new run, a random selection of starting equipment will be available. The next time you return to Niflheim, you'll get to try a new set of gear and abilities. Now the other thing to keep in mind is as you progress throughout this game mode, and by the way, all this information plus a lot more is located in the full patch notes, and as always, I will leave a link to those in the description down below. But getting back to the gear, the notes go on to say that your loadout will be impacted by your own strategic choices. You will be able to improve your chances of survival by defeating enemies, earning new weapons, outfits, and runes through world events, or by spending hard-earned coins at the merchant store. While Odin can use several runes to gain power, only one weapon can be equipped to a slot at any given time. Every decision you make will need to be carefully considered because if Hell's Legion gets the better of you, you will be stripped of your powerful gear and sent back to the start. Now the good news is that even if your character dies, which will happen, once Odin is expelled from Niflheim, you will be given ability points to upgrade an all new skill tree, increasing your strength and improving the odds of receiving powerful weapons and runes. Now one thing I want to make sure I never do with the channel is give away any spoilers, so I don't want to go into too much of the story aspect right now, but I'm telling you as someone who's just jumping back into the game after being gone for a long time, I am really finding this game enjoyable. I've been playing for about two, three hours something like that and you know I've died a few times just to see what would happen you're brought back to the beginning and you start again and for me it's one of those things where there seems to be a lot of replayability with this game it doesn't seem like you're doing the same thing over and over because it really does seem to change with each attempt that I make you know I mean right here's a great example I'm about to cross this chain bridge and when I do it completely breaks down which means I cannot backtrack so as you're making decisions in this game mode you have to think of your previous attempts what did you do what did you know what mistakes did you make where did you want to go instead and for me that's something that's really enjoyable and makes the replayability on this really high now as far as the size of the map i have no idea like this is at the very beginning as i just started so it seems it's going to be a pretty immersive thing and obviously as you continue the enemies are going to get stronger and stronger so for me this is a great you know reintroduction back into the game and i'm really looking forward to playing it now, for those of you that have been at this channel for a while, you know that I used to cover Assassin's Creed on a mostly, you know, pretty regularly, like on a weekly basis. However, for me, the only reason I stopped playing was because 90% of the
of the time when I played this game, it would crash on me or there'd be some glitching error or the screen would completely freeze and I'd have to force quit everything. And look, I kept trying like with every DLC that came out. And this includes the most recent Dawn of Ragnarok. I kept trying to jump into the game, but I kept having these issues. Now, it's important to mention that there are so many gamers out there who have not had any issues in the game whatsoever. And for me, that was a deciding factor. That's why I walked away. You know, I, I love the Assassin's Creed franchise. I was enjoying playing this game when it worked, but unfortunately for me, it worked a lot less than it actually did. But I'm hoping moving forward with this game mode, it's going to be something new. And with that being said, my goal moving forward is to hopefully continue to enjoy this. Again, it's been three hours. Let's see what happens over the next few days. Most importantly, I would love to hear back from you, my Assassin's Creed YouTube family. Let me know what you think of this thing so far. I would love your feedback. And as always, if I can help out in any way answering any questions, I definitely will do so. With all that being said, I want to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. And look, I hope this is the starting of my covering this game again. Like, I love Assassin's Creed, and, and with this being introduced, it could be a whole new way to play the thing. I don't feel like I have to catch up on everything else. And in many ways, I hope this relights the fire of my wanting to play this game again. I hope that a lot of technical issues have been dealt with. We'll see what happens. And, you know, once again, I really hope I start to cover this thing on a regular basis. And as always, I thank you so much for your continued support. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Enjoy the fight, father. That looks like a warrior of rank. <laughs> 